analysis, Samoa Joe and Corey, we knew the game plan. Joe was going to go after the injured knee of Seth Rollins, but what an incredible performance by the architect. You have to give all the credit in the world to Seth Rollins for surviving the attack, the repeat flurry of attacks from Samoa Joe to his already injured knee. Rollins was able to overcome and pick up a huge victory. But Seth Rollins, he went in his trick bag once. It didn't work. He went in his trick bag again and pulled it off. you got to give him a lot of credit. Indeed, a very valiant effort by Seth Rollins last night. we got to close the door. kicked a little bit last night by Samoa Joe. I'm feeling really good. Because you guys, you've been through it with me for the last six months, dude. It's been like a roller coaster. That's just life, on. right? Sorry. Highest of highs, lowest of lows. We've all been there. You guys have been there with me through all of that. We've all been there. We've been in those moments where you feel so low, so low that you just want to give up, man. You just want to crawl into a hole, shut off the world, but you can't do that, right? Now, you got to stand up. You got to keep fighting. You got to struggle. You got to embrace the sucky part of life just as much as the good stuff, man. And that's exactly what I've done. You got to look in the mirror. All of us. All right, Bill. Gotta look in the mirror. You got to figure out who you are and who you want to be. And if those two things don't line up, you gotta do something about it. And that's what I did. I looked in the mirror and I realized I'm still Seth freaking Rollins. And everything kind of came full circle in the last month, man. WrestleMania, I slayed the King of Kings. And last night I got some payback on Samoa Joe. It's not over yet, though. You know it's not over yet. So for me, there's really only one thing left to do. I want the beast. Holy crap. I go Brock Lesnar. I want the Universal Championship. And I've been to Suplex City. And I'm not afraid to go back. <laughs> Here we go. Number one contenders match. Bring it on. Seth, <laughs> man, we've been on the same page recently. And I gotta be honest, man, I respect you. You are the one-legged man who won at WrestleMania. But uh, me, mm -hmm. I'm the one-armed man who became the very first Universal Champion. You I love this right? setup. I love this you setup. That when uh, my arm was hanging from my body and uh, I still beat you? 
Oh, and by the way, I never actually lost that title, so no offense. But when it comes to talking about facing Brock Lesnar, the line starts here. What in the world? Whatever this is, here we go. Brock, 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 Brock. They all sound like a couple of chickens. Look, I know a little something about Brock Lesnar. He does what he wants, when he wants, and he fights when he wants, which, let's face it, ain't all that often. I think Monday Night Raw should be about fighting champions. That's why I'll fight anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. I mean, I've had fights I didn't even know I had. I've had fights by accident, so if y'all are gonna talk about a title, y'all be talking about this. Because as of now, this is the number one championship on Monday Night Raw, and I'm itching to get to some action. This is just keeps getting better and better. Well, the Miz did bring it down a notch. talk about action first and foremost these two haven't earned anything and quite frankly dean you are an embarrassment as a champion i'm sensing a tag match for me if anyone deserves that title it is me It would have been much better if Braun came out of nowhere and just decked these people. I'm the guy that made the Intercontinental Championship mean something. You're also the latest member of the Finn Balor Just Kick My Ass Club. Yeah, about that, you cheap shot at me. Congratulations. By the way, that proves me right. You, sir, are a coward. And you don't deserve to be Intercontinental Champion. None of you do. See, when I was Intercontinental Champion, I defended Wait. it nightly. But you, Dean, what is happening? you weren't even important enough to defend it at Payback last night. And then there's Seth freaking Rollins. Oh yeah, you used to be the man, but now you hobble on one leg like the gimp you are. Oh, dude, come on. On one leg, I could still run circles around you in this ring, man. Well, it's a good thing this isn't a running contest. This, sir, is a WWE ring, and in this WWE ring, I beat people up. There's a reason why everybody hates me. It's because I am the biggest threat on Monday night. Shut up! Look, all right, there's a lot of mudslinging going on right now. It's very confusing. I'm going to fix the whole situation. There is two things we do know. I will face anybody anytime for the Intercontinental Championship. And two, everybody wants good. to see the Miz get beat up. So, yeah, really good. for instance, 
Who here in Sacramento would like to see Finn Balor beat up The Miz? See, that's a lot of people. Uh, who here in Sacramento would like to see Seth Rollins beat up The Miz? Okay, well, we're gonna make some stuff happen. I'm just gonna take care of business right now. Hold on a sec. What are you doing? It's ringing. Kurt! Kurt Angle, Dean Ambrose. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in the ring. I'm on, uh, can you see me? <laughs> hey, Kurt. Hey, look, Foley gave me a number, is that okay? Okay, okay well, I'll make it quick. All right, I'll make it quick, I got an idea, hold on. What do you say? Oh, Kurt Angle was not happy that I had his phone number. Look, he did say something else. He made a match for tonight. And he said, and I quote, tonight will be The Miz versus Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins in a triple threat match. Number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. It's true, baby. It's damn true.